Hi, I'm Julie Collins from the British Academy of Floral Art. I'm one of the directors and um, we thought it'd be really nice this time to do a virtual newsletter. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, I've got a little list underneath the camera here just to prompt me on what to say. Um, so over lockdown we have actually been doing quite a few videos um, and actually I've been going live on Facebook so there's a whole new thing going on here and we thought oh, goodness, why not let's continue it um, so if you've missed out on any of those videos then if you go on our website um, or YouTube channel you'll be able to catch up with those and have a little look over the last um, few weeks we've been making floral crowns for garden day and jewelry for VE day so lots of top tips and things going on in those videos and all and you'll be able to meet all the team because they've all had a go at making stuff as well so hopefully you'll enjoy this amanda randall's actually written the newsletter as well to go with this so if there's anything you've missed you can have a read there as well but i thought it might be a bit fun for you to meet a bit of the team and uh you know keep going with this virtual world that we're in so i'm in lockdown in my garden so um, yeah, I'd like to welcome you in, a beautiful sunny day again today and I thought I'd sit outside for a change. Um, I've got my little list so let's have a little look. So what have we been up to? Well when we first got locked down I started to change all the dates on the website and pushing all the courses um, to later in the year with an intention hopefully to start back June, July. So if you are on one of our courses, hopefully you would have had an email to let you know the new dates. And we are monitoring that on a day-to-day -day basis now. If we feel that we can't actually get back, um, we've got the catch-up courses going on in June. So if you've missed a few lessons, then we're hoping to catch you up then. And we're starting our new courses in July. That's the plan. But again, day-to-day -day updates and keeping on your emails um, if you are on one of our courses because we'll let you know what's going on. All the course dates on our website are as today, current. Today's th Thursday the 21st of May. So everything's updated. And, but, exciting times because we have a new course that we're going to start at the end of July, which is our Fast Track course. So at the moment, if you study floristry, um, we give you the options of studying on a uh, once a week on a Wednesday, or you can come weekends once a month, or you can do week blocks. And so the, the fast track course covers is condensed all the week blocks into one amazingly fun packed full of information course. So in this course, you're going to do weddings, funerals, um, arrangements and hand tides, business studies and design. It's all inclusive. It includes your flowers, your sundries, your containers, your tools. So everything's there. And the reason we can do this is because um, we've, it's practical, pure practical. But the delivery of theory is done through class discussion. So it keeps it very fast paced and um, but really 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 packed with useful information which will help you start your floral journey and career and so if you've got nothing to do this summer I don't you can have a go maybe becoming a florist um, and join us on that um, also we've got another amazing course so for people who don't want to be a florist but actually would love to learn how to do flowers for the home then we've designed this new um, called flowers for your home course it's again it's going to be tools of the flower arranging trade it's what plants you should put in your garden for cutting what um how do you use the elements of design in in your designs uh, it's going to be full-on practical it's all inclusive again it's all your flowers all your sundries um all your foliages all your tools and loads of knowledge and because there's a vast amount absolutely endless amount of designs you can create and we don't want to be restricted in fact the lovely thing about the academy is that we don't have any restrictions so we can be fast paced and changing all the time so at the moment we're starting to redesign the courses not to include any plastics or to, and be environmentally friendly um, we can do that as quickly as we like because we can wipe the syllabuses ourselves so um so the the flowers for the home course i just think it's going to be amazing you're going to learn how to cut do color blends and um, why space is important between flowers and how you can put modern designs but also look at the the traditional 
um, classics um, as well. So uh, a really, really all round lovely course. It's going to start in October with fantastic Amanda Randall. Um, it's going to be delivered over four full days, um, but also we're going to do it on a week, uh, a weekly, a six week um, course as well. But at the moment, we just put the four days up on the website. So you can have a little look there. What else am I going to talk about? Oh, our new studio. So in February, we trotted across the car park and we moved all our items from one room to two rooms. Now, these two rooms were um, uh, storage rooms, so they really needed doing up. And we had the builders in doing it up. And of course, um, coronavirus came along. We've had to stop. But the good news is the builders are back. Yay! And they'll be finishing off that last room, which um, hasn't been completely completed. So we're going to have two beautiful rooms, two kitchens, and um, plenty of space for us to spread out. We've got absolutely stunning tables. Um, so I live in a village. And uh, a chap in the village has a little copse, and in this copse he has made us, from windfell trees, some stunning tables. Um, and really low environmental impact because they were on the floor anyway. He made them and he travelled them 20 minutes up the road to our studios in Dunchidiak, ready for you to use. Um, they're beautiful. Um, also the studios are, are run on biomass, so they're really eco-friendly places to be and they're sunning so our um we've got a cutting garden on the go which obviously hasn't been looked at whilst we've been locked down so tina young who teaches that she's going to be popping up there this week and next week to tidy it up and get it up and running but the long-term plan is that this is going to be the amazing garden because it is set on a slight um incline above a beautiful old mill um pond and um, so the long-term view is that with the garden that is surrounding this mill pond with flowers, cutting flowers that um, you, we can use for the courses. And But the landlord is actually also putting some decking down by the pond. So when we have our lunch, we can go up with a cup of tea and um, sit and watch the kingfisher fly over the pond. Oh, so beautiful. Sheets in the field. It's a idyllic, beautiful place to go i can't wait to get back and i can't wait Ooh, there's a little robin just landed over there sorry you can't see it but cute um yeah i can't wait to go back and i've got my own office there now we're looking over the fields oh can't wait so um these are lovely it's such a safe and beautiful quiet environment to be um we have designed a new risk assessment to make you feel so that you feel safe um we want to be inclusive. Do you know what? I don't know if I've repeated myself. It's a trouble when you do these things, isn't it? I don't, have I mentioned the risk assessment? If I have, you have to fast forward it because I'm going to just say it again because I'm not sure if I have. So we've done this risk assessment which I'll put on the website. Um, it basically, we're going to distance you. You know, we're going to have small classrooms and um, because we've got two rooms, we can make sure that you've got plenty of space between yourselves. Um, we're just going to encourage you to bring your own stuff. So bring your own food and drink. Um, we normally provide milks and coffees and things, but I think it'd be better and safer if you just bring your own. Less handling across contamination is better, I think. So we've got this risk assessment, which we want to be inclusive. So we want anyone um, who's coming on our courses, if you've, there's anything you think you've missed, then, you know, let us know and we'll, we'll have a look at it, what your suggestions and add it on. Um, and I think that's about it. Apart from, I just need to let you know that because of embracing these new technologies and because I've been going live, um, I'm going to carry on doing that. So I'm going to do um flower i can't even remember what we're calling it now friday floral skip my mind anyway focus that's the word <laughs> crikey oh going crazy um yeah flower for floral focus a mouthful see um, i have to cut that down so i can remember it but anyway we're going to do that every friday so i'm going to go live so this is a thursday so tomorrow morning, you probably will be, you'll get this newsletter on Friday, so it'll be in the morning. I would have already done a um, design using these beautiful flowers. And I'm going to do an eco-friendly design for the home. So if you have it, if you've missed it, um, then go and have a look on our YouTube. It'll be on there and you can have a go. And I'm hoping to do that every Friday, whether a plant identification or um, showing you around the studio, maybe next week. Um, so you can have a little virtual tour. 
so let's see let's see how it goes but anyway it's been lovely to see you thank you so much for joining me and please stay in touch and look forward to seeing you at the academy soon okay take care bye